What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a hair tutorial on how I get my very, very thin, fine, like dull hair to do anything. I'm going to show you guys how I curl it with a flat iron. So if you don't have a curling iron or you just want to get like these more wave, I don't know, rock star looking hair with your flat iron, then that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I love me some big hair sometimes. Now, sometimes I want it flat and sleek and straight, and then other times I want it to be big and bossy, just like this. So, if you want to see how I got this hairstyle with my flat iron, then just okay, keep Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after I have washed and dried it and really done not much to it except put a few products in it, and I'm going to show you um, I always put my mousse in while my hair is damp or wet right out of the shower. I'll kind of shake it dry with the towel to make sure it's not dripping or whatever. And then I will put usually about a palm, palm size amount of mousse in it. And this is the Living Proof Timeless Plumping Mousse for fuller hair and blah, blah, blah. So if you have super fine hair like I do, I mean, my hair is so fine and so thin like, this is legit all of my hair. Like, this is all of my hair. And I've seen tutorials, and I've searched for tutorials um, for people with thin and fine hair. And every time I see one, no one actually has really thin hair like I do. So, I thought I would do another video because I did one way back in the day, about three years ago, uh, when I first started YouTube. <clears throat> so, I thought I would do another one with my short hair and to show you guys what I use and all that stuff. Now, normally, I use the It's a 10 spray. It's in like a blue bottle with like a purple pinkish lid and that is a heat protectant, a detangler. It helps with split ends. It does 10 different things, all of that stuff. Uh, but I ran out of that. So, I'm using my Tresemme Thermal Heat Spray. It protects uh, from heat up to 450 degrees. So I sprayed this in there while it was damp as well. And then I always have dry shampoo on hand because this gives fine, thin, limp, lifeless hair texture. So if you didn't know that, even if you don't need dry shampoo and your hair is not oily or greasy or anything, this right here will give you texture to play around with and it will give you volume and everything. So I don't use this when my hair is wet, only when it's dry. Um, and I like the Dove one because I think it smells the best. I like the Tease also, uh, but all right, I like the smell of the mousse of the um, Dove brand best. But anyways, you can literally spray this on the ends everywhere. It's like better than hairspray. It gives you so much volume and like just like some grit to work with. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to use my little spiral foam cord hair bow to put half my hair up because I have three daughters and I can never find anything like my clips. But today I'm going to be using my MHU uh, Keratin Ion Flat Iron. This is the one and one fourth inch. Now, if you have really short hair, shorter than mine, or even just as short as mine, because these front pieces are longer, the back is much shorter, um, then you'll want to use just like a half, a half inch or an inch because like the slimmer it is, the better you can curl and get that kind of twist and bend with it. But I still love this one. This is my second uh, flat iron from this brand. The first one I got probably two years ago when Amazon was having a glitch and they were on there for seven bucks with a code. One of my friends sent me a message and was like, uh, there's a flat iron on Amazon for seven bucks and you need to go get it. And I did and I loved it and it worked amazing for two years. And then after about two years, the little computer started going out but for two years seven bucks not gonna complain this one was under 30 so I'll have this one linked down below if you're interested but this is like the anti frizz I love this one because it has the automatic shut off and then the buttons are on the inside so you're not gonna accidentally touch them while you're flat ironing your hair do you know what I mean like if your buttons are on the outside that's so annoying while you're trying to straighten or twist you can hit your buttons and I hate that so this one goes from uh, 285 up to 450. So depending on what type of hair you have, and there it is in the manual here, and it does tell you like um, for fine or thin hair, go for 285 to 345. For wavy, 345 to 390, and for thick, 390 to 450. So 
It has all your instructions in your little book, everything you need. But this one is the anti-frizz. Um, it is, like I said, the automatic shut off after 60 minutes of not using it and it's just laying there, then it automatically turns off. Um, you can do a, like, a manual mode on here. So whatever temperature you like to keep yours on, you can set it so that when you turn it on, it will just come right to the temperature you want it to. You can do it up and down, all of that stuff. I like that this cord moves around so it's easier to maneuver. And then it's like a little digital thing. So love this. So this is how I get my little messy, it's not beach waves. They're like little flat iron curls, flat iron twist. So let's get to it. Like I said, the bottom pieces of my hair, much shorter than the top and the front. So I'm gonna turn around and show you how short that is really quick. So here is how short that is. So you're not gonna get too much bend in this hair down here if you have really short hair, but that's okay. As long as you get some movement down there and some texture where you can't like, where it kind of fluffs it up, then you're fine. Just make sure whatever you put in your hair is dry before you put your flat iron on it so you don't burn your hair off. But this is how I do mine. Now, I know there are different techniques and different ways to hold your flat iron to do them. This is just what works best for me. I'm not a professional, clearly. But this is just what works best for me. So, I am right-handed, and I just put it in there and twist. Now, like I said, for these bottom pieces, you're not going to get a whole lot of curl or twist in there because they're short, short. You could do this on long hair also. And I have a tutorial uh, from when I had longer hair, or actually it was pretty long hair. Um, and I'll link that down below also if you wanna see that. But this is all I do. And I don't worry too much about what, and I'm looking in the viewfinder to do this, so can't really tell if it's fabulous or not, but um, you don't have to worry so much about the bottom pieces because they're gonna be covered with the top pieces. So as long as you get a little twist in there so that you don't have super straight pieces sticking out of the bottom, then you're fine. And then of course you can spray it with hairspray and that will help it hold. I don't shake it out or anything. I let it sit like that until the very end. That goes for all of my hair and then I'm just gonna section off another section, which honestly I can usually get away with three to four small sections because I don't have much hair, so. And you see how fast it is. Like, doesn't take long. That's a look. Doesn't take long at all. Just put it in, twist, twist, twist. I like mine to be straight at the bottom and if it's like sticking out too much for you, you could just curl it under a little bit. And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go work all the way around my head, twisting. Just like that. Now your flat iron should never be ripping your hair out or pulling it. And if it does, you need to get a different flat iron um, because I've had, even the Chi for me, which is an expensive flat iron, my hair would get caught right here and then it would rip my hair out. So if it's doing that to you, absolutely get a different flat iron. Do not keep using that iron because obviously it's ripping your hair out. It ain't no good. And then I will also do a tutorial on how I curl my fine thin hair. I am getting a new curling yarn and I wanna try it out a few times before I come on here and show it to you guys because I'm not gonna show you a curling yarn that is not good. So I wanna use it just a little bit um, before I come on here and show it to you, but I'll show you also how I curl my fine, lifeless, short hair, which by the way, I'm loving the short hair. Cannot lie. I like short hair and I cannot lie. All right, so I'm just gonna Take the top section. Really wish I had my clip, because this is super annoying. But it is what it is. So, also, um, I didn't bring my brush in here, but <laughs> brush your hair too. I can just run my fingers through mine because honestly, there's not that much of it. Am I right? So. All right, so I just take a section like this. I don't even know how big this is, like an inch, maybe. An inch right here, but not very much at the bottom. Now, on these top pieces like this, when you're getting closer to the top, you're gonna wanna be more precise and get it like looking more how you want it because these are gonna be the pieces that you really actually see. 
that people actually see when you wear your hair like this. Like I said, those bottom pieces are gonna be covered by these pieces, so they're not gonna matter as much, but these are the ones that matter. So just taking sections. I hope I'm in the view. Yeah. And just clamp down, twist, 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 and pull through. And that's it. going on to the top section you see how much volume that is just from a little dry shampoo and it wasn't even much dry shampoo but I'm just running my fingers through it make sure there's no tangles or anything because <laughs> I didn't bring my brush in here and I don't use a brush a whole lot because brushes are very harsh on really thin and fine hair so there's a tip and again I'm looking in the viewfinder and I cannot see that well so Got a shadow. For this front piece, I just kind of take it back and give it one little twist because I don't want that front piece to have like too much curl. I don't want a whole bunch of curl around my face. And also once you get, well you can actually do this throughout, but once you get up here toward the top, you can take some of your pieces and curl them, which way, yes. You could curl them inward as well. So you can have some going in, some going out. That way it gives you more dimension and more texture. Usually, I only like doing that when I'm actually curling my hair and not flat ironing it, but you can do it that way as well. And you could see how flat my hair was in the beginning, and like now it has like a little life to it. Okay, so my camera died, and I did not realize it, but um, I haven't looked at the back of my hair, but I think it feels like it's okay. This piece might need a bit of help. When I do smaller pieces, look, see, I um, give it more of a twist and it'll give it like more of a curl, you know? But if you have these pieces, like these ends, sticking out and you don't like them sticking out, you could just flip those bad boys under and it'll kind of straighten them out for you. Just like that one. So many distractions today. We got dogs, we got kids leaving, all of that stuff. Let me show you the back. I haven't looked at it, so I hope it's okay. But here's the back. The back of my hair is my favorite part of my hair. I just love how short it is, and it just looks like, it's just like so, I don't know. It has so much movement in it, and I love it. Um, now, this is more like some rock star type hair. I'm put a little hairspray in it. Because, like I said, I have thin hair, and it needs all of the help that it can get, okay? So, I just spray it. You can also use like a sea salt spray or anything like that to spritz in it and kind of like scrunch it up and that'll help you too. But I just alert it. I love the back. It just tapers down. I don't know if you guys can tell right there, but this is what I do to my hair with my flat iron. Um, also, I can do this with a curling iron, and then I can do curlier with a curling iron with different styles and stuff like that. So, I will, um, let me go ahead. Oh, I did also, uh, when my phone died, I pumped it up to 360 because, and went back over it because I found that it being on such a low temperature, it wasn't doing such a great job. So, I did these with, um, heat temperature 360. That's why it looks a little different when I came back on camera. But I will be doing a how I curl my hair as well. So stay tuned for that one. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.